yes sir all right now shall we move on to the class I was having heavy fever that's why oh, yes, sir my god my god my god take care of it my yes dear. sir okay now we are just moving on to the class let me start right just a minute let me start the recording button because uh, i don't know this recording no okay it is going on okay like okay ohona has joined that's a wonderful class now continuous tense right can you hear me all of you if you have no problem okay otherwise if you can hear me it's okay fine continuous tense means whenever you are doing continuous tense you have to just think of one thing you have to use be verb am is are you know the be verb song am is are was were be been being this eight be verbs will help you right am is are was were be been being what are they am is are then was then were w e r e were then be then be double e n being and b e i n g this eight verbs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 am is are was am is are these are used in present continuous tense was and were they are used in past continuous tense be is used with future tense been is used with perfect tense and being is also used in continuous and passive voice like it is being done like uh the lesson is being taught hmm, passive voice uh i don't think you have done passive voice you will do, you will do it in class 7 or maybe uh, later in this class i don't know have you done passive and active yes sir yes, i have sir. done it okay so in active and passive you will see being is used like uh the work is being done uh the the letter is being yes, written or the book is being read the video is being shown etc the class is being taken present uh, continuous but in passive form right let me go to yes, the book yes sir hmm? okay now present continuous tense now present continuous tense we have to think of three be verbs very very important three be verbs what are these three am is are remember am is are for example see i am i am taking my lunch right am because with i you use be verb am the children are now children are now are is plural why because children plural tina is singular so you are using is here so what i told you am is are and if you want a formula subject plus like if i say subject i then plus am oblique is oblique are any one of this depending on the subject am is are then plus v1 v1 you know verb, verb has actually three form basic three forms some uh, you can also have five forms they are called conjugations right uh, but basically we know first three forms v1 v2 v3 what is v1 v1 is the base form for example if i say go go is the base form we call it v1 and went it is v2 right v1 v2 and if i write gone g o n e gone it will be v3 so whenever you are writing continuous tense be careful we will always add ing with v1 never use v2 v3 plus ing right so what will be the formula subject plus am or as or am is or are any one of these plus v1 okay for example look at this i am uh, taking my lunch this you can write anything my lunch i am taking my book i am taking my lesson etc but main thing is subject plus v verb plus v1 plus ing so present continuous tense it is this much don't worry present continuous tense see present continuous tense forms 
I am playing. I am not playing. This is a negative. And are they playing? It is in question. Now first let us do what is present continuous. You all know any doubt in present continuous now? No sir. Sanket, one, one sentence in present continuous. Your own sentence. Uh, yes sir. I am reading the book. Very good. Okay. Ohna, make one sentence. Yes sir. Mother is cooking Wonderful. dinner. Wonderful. Mother is cooking dinner. And Deva Huti, one more using uh, uh, R. Sir, children are playing in the park. Very good. But you make your own sentence. Um, students, uh, students are learning uh, their books. Okay. Very good sentence. Wonderful. Very good. Wonder. Well done. All of you have done it very well. So present continuous tense, right? So I am not right now. Here, when you want to make them, this is affirmative, I mean statement, and then negative. Whenever you are planning to make it negative, whichever continuous tense, bring one, not in the middle of the helping verb, am is helping verb, and this is main verb, right? So, between these two, bring an, like, I am reading book, I am not reading book. They are playing, they are not playing, are not playing. Just add not to make it negative, and to make it question, Bring the helping verb. This is called helping verb. Be verb is also called helping verb. Bring the helping verb in the beginning of the sentence. It will be Sir, a question. For question for interrogative uh, sentence, we have to make uh, the be verb first. Yes, of course. Yes. Simran, good evening. Good afternoon, Simran. Okay, Simran is not able to hear me. Yes, uh, Shonket. Question, it is always, whenever you are making question, we always bring verb before the subject. For example, look at this, they, are they playing? They are playing. Actually, the statement is they are playing. And when you are making it a question, are comes before. I mean, uh, be verb or helping verb comes before the main verb, right? Okay, I forgot to send one, uh, the link to one of my students. She's from DAV. She wanted to join. I just forgot. Let me give her the ring. Huh? Uh, this, uh, where is he? She is. Okay, just a minute. Uh, actually, she is a very sweet girl. She's in DAV, you know. She, her sister is my student. She was also my student when I was in Xavier's. Anyway, so look at this, children. Okay, now here, any question? Let me make one question. Uh, Nan Nandini, can you make one question with present continuous? Question. Okay. Are you doing your work? Wonderful. Are you doing your work? Very good. Pallavi. Uh, make one negative sentence. Make one negative sentence. I am not playing football. No, it is okay. Okay, yes, you are right. Pallavi, wonderful. Very, very good. I am not playing. Okay, Ohana, make one continuous sentence using am. A M am. Present continuous. So, can I tell? Uh, let uh, uh, Ohana. Ohana. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I am playing badminton. Okay, wonderful. Very good. Shapnil, good afternoon. Shapnil, good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, okay. Acha. Uh, Oishiki, can you try one yes, sentence sir. with uh, I am feeling scared of asking you. Can you try with one more sentence? No, sir. Huh? Uh, Pres uh, present, continuous. Present, present continuous using third person singular is he is or she is or uh, okay sir uh, she is swimming in the pool wonderful she is swimming in the pool very very good that's a lovely lovely thing wonderful children okay Shapnil can you make one sentence with present continuous Yes, sir. Come on. I am play playing football. Wonderful. I am playing football. Can you make it negative? 
I am playing. I am not playing football. Wonderful, very good. Can you make it question? Question means you bring the be verb in the beginning of the sentence. Am is the be verb, helping verb. I am not playing football. Then what will be the question? Okay. Can anybody else try, Ritishna? Yes, sir. With what? Can you make it a question? Bring the helping verb in the beginning. Yes, sir. Sir, um, I. Can. Yeah. Sir, I can tell. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Am I playing? Yes, am I playing football or whatever it is, right, Shapnil? So you okay. bring am in the beginning. I had to the... make the uh, sentence of the question. Yes, and into the question, right, right, right. Shampurna, good afternoon, child. Shampurna. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, sir. How are you? I'm very fine. Thank you for joining. Actually, I forgot, in fact, to give you the link. I have already started present continuous tense. You also have present continuous, right? Yes, sir. Ah, that's wonderful. Children, Sampuna is a very nice girl. She is very studious. She is always ready to study. And whenever I get the opportunity, I call her for the class. So today also, I thought that I should invite her. Could you please welcome her with the claps? Actually, Hi, she, 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 she doesn't know you, no? She may be feeling a little odd. You all are friends, but she is from DAV, right? She just has joined me here. She is very, very sweet. Now, let me carry on. Present continuous, fine, we have that. Hi, Sampunna. Okay, good, good. Uh, yeah. So, Sampunna, you can say hi to some of your new friends. Ritishna is a nice girl. And all the girls and boys over here are very wonderful. Now, present continuous tense uses, where, where we use present continuous tense, the work that is going on, like right now, what we are doing. Now, right, we are, we are doing class. We are doing class. See, we are doing, we are doing. See, it is also present continuous. We are doing class, right? See the be verb and do verb plus ing. So, it is also present continuous. So, to express an action that is going on at the present moment, that is called present continuous, right? Okay, for so. And whenever present continuous, present, remember, three B verbs, am, is, are, these only will be used. Whether you make it statement, whether you make it question, whether you make it uh, negative, the three B verbs will be there. Okay? Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, present continuous uses, it is used in the action which is going on at present or in progress next it expresses an action taking place at the present time but not necessarily at the present moment like it might happen like uh, an, uh, what is this a anushka a n o u s k -A. anushka is preparing a project on endangered animal yes sometimes you can use present continuous in the sense which is not exactly going on like you all are preparing for your school examination right you all are preparing for your school examination this is also present continuous but exactly right now you are not doing that maybe in the evening you will do at night tomorrow or day after tomorrow so i can say that you all are preparing for the examination that is also continuous present continuous so present continuous can also be used when you are preparing to do something not exactly at the present time. For example, we are preparing for our final examination, right? You can say Ritishna is preparing to go to Darjeeling or Ritishna is planning to go to Gangtok in the next summer. So, is preparing. When you are planning to do something, we, when you have a plan to do in future certain things, you can also use present continuous, right? Oishiki is planning to go to grandma's house next summer vacation or next holiday. So, planning is planning. So, 
understood what are the uses of present continuous is it okay okay when you are doing something for the future i mean okay. planning for something future like shanket is planning to go to singapore when he grows up he is planning present continuous so when you have a plan for something future when you are getting ready for something not exactly at the present time and when you are doing exactly something at the present time so in all the ca these cases we use present continuous tense is it clear to all of you if it is clear yes. then write yes in the chat box yes, sir. right yes in the chat box wonderful very good everybody has written okay if you still have any doubt uh you can ask me you can ask me wonderful that's a lovely class wonderful that's a very good class now let me call upon uh aryaman can you read this one past continuous tense this part from here Yeah, a little louder. Be a little louder. Okay, sir. Yeah, the your voice is very soft. Taking my lunch. The children were playing in the park. The words in the sentences are in the past continuous tense. Okay, that's it. Okay, fine. I was taking my lunch. Was taking. children were playing i told you in past continuous two b verbs was and were these two b verbs are used remember in present continuous what were the b verbs am is are remember am is are yes right and in past continuous always these two never use those three okay in past continuous if it is singular it will be was and if it is plural it will be were now here Where? i was hmm the action which was taking place same formula subject plus be verb either was or were plus v1 plus ing this is the formula if you remember this it will be very easy subject plus was or were then v1 ing now past continuous tense forms forms means how they they look this formula is called form this formula is called form right so let me call upon devahuti what will be the formula of past continuous uh, we have to put uh, uh, was uh, or where after uh, i or uh, after subject eh? we call that subject na eh? s right the formula will be just like mathematics s means subject plus was or were was is used for singular were is used for plural then plus v1 plus ing why v1 v1 is the base form right we always write for example do plus ing past tense of do is did you can never write d i d i n g diding no never write so it will be wrong always base form this is v1 plus i n g remember this is it clear okay. to all of you yes sir okay yes, yes sir all right sampurna can you read this one past continuous tense forms yes sir was or were plus i n g form of verb was playing they were playing carry on up to this yes, much sir. okay sir was or were plus not plus ing form of the verb i was not playing they were not playing was or were put before the subject where they are playing what were they playing short forms why was not is shortened as wasn't were not is shorted as weren't wonderful wonderful reader okay shampurna very good so past continuous tense is used uh, let me uh, take a short quiz pallavi what are the b verbs that we use in past continuous pallavi 
Yes, I can repeat the question. Uh, what are the be verbs that we use in past continuous? Uh, sir, was where? Was where? Very good. Was where? Anandini, can you say which one is used for singular subject? Was or where? Nandini? Was. Was. Very good. Very good. Ariman, what is used for plural plural subject? Which B verb is used for plural subject? Plural. Loudly. Right, W E R E. Wonderful, very good. So, it is really uh, great to see that it is getting clear. Shanket, any doubt up to up to this much? No, sir. No, no doubt. Now, Shanket, read this one. Past continuous tense use. Yes, sir. Past continuous tense uh, use. It expresses an action that was going or on or continuing at some point of time in the past. The principal was taking a round of the school. At 6 o'clock last evening, we were flying to Berlin. Very uh, good. Then Very good. Now, so it expresses an action that was going on or continuing at some point of time in the past. So, I can say that Priyanka was reading in the morning or Priyanka was attending class. Oishiki was uh, reading a storybook in the morning or Shoptok was uh, talking to his brother. So, in the morning, that is past. Past, you know, uh, even what something happened yesterday, that is also past. Huh? Never, see, even we sometimes use call immediate past. That is actually we call perfect tense, but not past tense. Immediate past is called perfect tense. So, past tense is very easy, like present continuous. Past continuous is also very easy. So, present continuous subject plus am. Achha, let me tell uh, Priyanka, can you tell the formula of present continuous? Present continuous tense. Yes, sir. Subject plus am, am plus is. Plus no, oblique. Because you have to either use am or is or are plus v1. Plus r plus v1. V1. Yes, sir. V1. V1 means base form of the verb. Eh? V1 means the base form. Okay. Based from shop talk, okay. sir, how do you know that I was actually talking to my... <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, that was a guesswork, all right. All right. So, sir? Yeah, was it true? I didn't get the like base form of V1. Achha, base form oh, of... Achha, base form means every verb has minimum three form. For example, go is a very good example. It is called base form, mane V1. Hmm. And when you make oh, it sir, past okay. tense, yes. it becomes went, W-E-N-T, went. Yes, sir. It is called V2. And then when you make past participle, G-O-N-E, gone. This is called V3. Mo many books write V1, V2, V3. And many books write base form, past form, past participle form. Okay? So, base yes, form sir, means it. the basic form. Some books write basic or base form means... You are starting your verb from here. That is why many people, many books call it base form. Because from here you are starting. That is why it is called base. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, so nice. When I get the question, I really love to get the questions. And when I can explain it, it makes me all the more happy. Now, let me come to few. Achha, one more thing. Priyanka was telling the formula of present continuous. And let me call upon Ritishna. Past continuous formula. Subject plus. Yes, sir. Subject will same and B verb will be changed. What will be here? B verb in future, uh, in past um, continuous. No, will be or shall be. No, 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 no. Past continuous. Okay, past continuous. Okay. Were or was. Was or were. Or were. Plus. B1 plus ing. Okay. Plus um, V1 plus ing. ING right? Yes, sir. This is the formula. If you remember the formula, no? 
you can identify them easily or make them easily nobody tells the formula because whenever they see the formula they get very scared because it looks like mathematics but don't be scared it is easy you can make formula also some books write pattern of english grammar this is called pattern of english grammar it will help you it is nothing very scary huh? though it looks as if it is blah, blah, big big formulas no 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 see s means subject and these are the b verbs b1 means base form and then ing right now let me come to future continuous i will be i told you that there are five sorry eight b verbs am is are was were be been being i think we sang that song no am is are was were be been being do you remember yes in the class in the class oh, no. so remember that song so there are total yes. eight v verbs out of these eight v verbs we have already learned about five no am is are was were next there are three b yes. then b w -E and been and then b e i n g now when you are talking about future continuous tense you have to take the help of this verb like will be will b so what will be the formula subject plus will or shall s h a w l s l plus b plus b1 plus ing right so what will be the formula yes. shapnil read the formula of future continuous subject plus will or shall plus b b plus, plus v1 b1 uh, plus ing ing so you remember this one so you can write in your notebook uh, present continuous formula you just write on top formula for continuous tense then you write present the formula one example you can write past formula one example you can write future formula one example you can write is it clear Yes, sir. Sir, I have already done it down down. Oh, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. Okay. So let us get the examples of one one example. Pallavi read this affirmative. The Nandini will read negative, and Shankit will this question. Come on, Pallavi start. Pallavi. Can you hear me, Pallavi? Okay, Nandini, can you start? Affirmative, Nandini. Yes, sir. Shanket uh, negative. Affirmative. Hmm. Shanket negative and Shampuna uh, question. Affirmative will be shall be plus ing form of the verb. I shall will be playing. They will be playing. Wonderful. Very good. Next, Shanket. Yes, sir. Negative. uh will not be or shall not be plus ing form of the verb i shall or will not be playing they will not be playing very good and next sampurna yes sir questions will or shall put before the subject will you be playing where will they be playing short forms will not is will not is shorted as won't shall not is shorted as shan shortened huh? say shortened right riddhiman shorted. good afternoon riddhiman good, good afternoon. afternoon okay shortened huh? shampuna a s h o r t e n shortened then we are adding ed shortened so how do you pronounce shortened exactly very good all right so we understood future continuous right so you you have got the formula of future continuous also right you have got the formula of future continuous so i hope in continuous tense now let me ask what is the use of future continuous let me call upon riddhiman das because he has joined just now riddhiman can you read future continuous tense use Okay, sir. It expresses an action that will be going on or continuing at some at some point of time in the future. 
I will be doing my homework in the evening. The president will be watching the Republic Parade. Wonderful, wonderful. Your voice is really good. How is Shreya? How is Shreya? Fine, sir. Oh, that's great. Very nice. So, I will be doing, look at this, future continuous. So, so you have seen that it expresses an action that will be going on. If I say Riddhiman will be going to Kolkata next week, will be, right? Now, you may be wondering, sir, then what is the use of shall? Actually, in the British English, we use shall for first person. I mean, I and we in British English. But in American English, they always use will, right? The Americans, they don't use uh, shall, right? If you just have some movies, American movies, you know, you can follow them, how they are talking. You will get to understand that they don't use shall. But the British people, they have the rule. They use with first person, I and we, this is, these are the first person, I is singular, we is plural, we use shall. Otherwise, Sir, I have noticed yeah. that one. Sir, I have noticed that one. Pardon? In the Avengers Pardon? movie. So, sorry? Sir, I have, sir, I have noticed that one in Avenger movie. Yes, yes. They don't use, yeah, they don't use shall, right? Uh, it is it is very very uh, uncommon because the, there there are lots of differences in American English and British English and if you go to higher classes you will find the difference in pronunciation of different kinds of English like Australian English New Zealand English South African English Indian English then American English British English wherever the British people went the people of those countries they speak English so their pronunciation differs from country to country and place to place. Even in England, you will find different kinds of dialects of English. Dialect means the sub-language. You can say, like in Bengal, you know, some people, those who are from Purulia, some people, those who are from Kolkata, some people, those who are from Midnapur, you know, they will have different, intel, uh, different dialects, no? Bengali, but different, no? If you go to Purulia, no? They will say, E Baba go chilato kiku chagre. Right. Uh -huh, in Bengali. <laughs> no? But when you are in Kolkata, they will be, Chilata kiku chere. This is in Kolkata, no? Uh, and in, when you are in Purulia, no? Uh, sorry, in Rudnapur. Uh, kiku dure? Kiku dure? So here in Midnapur, no? Kori dure. So this is, all these three are Bengali, but. They are, their dialects are different. No, if there are some places in Bangladesh, you can't even understand that it is Bengali. But it is Bengali. It is really very difficult to understand Bengali. It's very nice to know about language. So when we are talking about grammar, actually grammar comes later. First comes language, the way people speak. So people are using more will than shall. Even in British English, you will find, in Indian English, you will find, actually in India, we use British English. But most of the students use will, or most of the pe people use will, they don't use shall. It may be after 50 or 100 years, no more shall will be used. There are lots of cases like that. We will not use shall anymore, maybe after 50 years or 60 years. That's called evolution of language. Huh? Now, let me... Is there any doubt up to this much? Three forms of continuous we have done. We have done present continuous. We have done future continuous. We have done past continuous. And you have seen that we have already used six B verbs. Am, is, are, was, where. We have two more left. One is been. Another is be, e, i, n, g, being. Right. I will tell you. Been is used with present perfect continuous. Perfect continuous, like uh, show, uh, if I say Aryaman has been doing, has been doing his lesson, has been doing, present perfect continuous. Debahuti has been listening to music of Arjit Singh, right? Okay, yes, so uh, yeah, 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 you can say that we are using in India, we are using uh, both American as well as British English mixing together, yeah, it's true. Okay, now Weishiki has been 
listening to the class of the teacher has been so when you are using perfect tense p e r a f e c t perfect present or past it may be i mean when you are using has or have or had you have to use been right has been then same formula v1 plus ing so in perfect uh, perfect tense we call it present perfect or past perfect or future perfect right so we can use in perfect tense we use be double and been okay acha as well as in be ing being when we are going to use being being is used in passive voice just now i told you passive and active like i am doing the work the work is being done by me when you are using a passive srijita can you make the passive of srijita is eating rice passive srijita eats rice no no that is not passive srijita is eating rice it is continuous it is active voice passive voice rice is being eaten by srijita what will be the answer rice is being eaten by srijita not eaten is being eaten eaten rice r i c rice is b e i n g being e a t e n eaten by srijita s r i j i t a you know being i'm using breathing this is also continuous but in passive form okay it is present continuous but in passive form right every sentence i mean uh, the sentence which is, which has transitive verb can be written in passive or active you know transitive form if there is verb which is transitive it can be either written in active or in passive so if i say srijita is eating rice rice is object eating is eating is the transitive verb it can be changed into passive how rice is being eaten by srijita for example let me call upon uh, devoshmita dash devoshmita can you make one sentence using b e i n g being devoshmita devoshmita okay devoshmita is not able shapnil shapnil yes sir can you make yeah. you one sentence using b e i n g b the flight is being a uh, fly yeah. flying by the uh, boy okay the kite is being flyed no being flown whenever you are using fly flew flown right fly flew flown yeah. right acha uh fly actually we, whenever you are using being after being we use v3 remember like whenever you are using um, say b e i n g being after that we always use v so fly flew f l e w flew and being f l o w n fly flew flown right so you have to say this one the kite is being flown by the boy by the boy very good by the boy and is that boy shopnil me <laughs> very good all right wonderful now and if not shopnil then our boy ridhiman the gaston oh ridhiman where is he ridhiman was here but he disappeared i don't know what happened maybe the network is not not working properly okay now up to this much is it clear continuous tense yes sir ah let me just go to the quiz round right we will start with nandini one by one nandini one question number one what do you have to do fill in the blanks like let me see this is clear uh exercise is clear future sir uh, i have the book yeah this is come on this one fill in the blanks yeah sir we the, we are doing our best excellent we are doing our best wonderful answer we are 
doing d o i n g doing our best wonderful next is sanket yes sir uh, sir um, the porter uh, is carrying the luggage carrying wonderful c a r r y i n g you can do in your notebook or else uh, in your book itself i don't know whether teacher has got it done or not acha next is shampurna number 3 yes sir many doctors are treated the cholera patients no no treated you? you have to treating, i can try no 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 shampurna can do you are doing continuous tense many doctors are treating the cholera uh, cholera patients t r e a t i n g very good treating wonderful next is priyanka number 4 Yes sir. I am looking into this problems. Very good. Looking into this problem. Wonderful. Next is Shoptok. Number 5. The plane is flying at a very high speed. Is flying F L Y I N G. Wonderful. You all are genius. Now Ritishna. Number 6. The dog is swimming in the water. Wow, that's a great answer. A S W I M G and wonderful pronunciation. That's so lovely. Okay, Aryaman Hajra, come on, number seven. These children are attending yoga classes regularly. Wonderful, attending yoga classes. Wonderful, Arya. Next is Deva Huti, number eight. Yes, sir. Sir, I cannot understand the what is the uh, in the bracket. Okay, this is I think uh, book I think B. No, what is there? It is in uh, B. I think. Sir, lie, L I E. Oh, lie, L I E. Okay, lie, L I E, L I E. Thank you, Shapnil Baba. Okay, the book. Welcome, sir. Yeah. Okay, Baba. Balo. Deva Huti, lie. Yes, sir. Your books are lying on the dining table. Please put them in your bag. Very good. Lie, huh? This is lie. Hmm. Bangla is jeta ke wale pore aache. Mane boy boy ta table ro por pore aache. Sometimes mommy says no. So when you are making is ing, it is very difficult. See, the main spelling is l i e. But when you are making it continuous, l. Y I N G. Very strange. This is the weirdness of English language. English language is very, very weird. We are in the sense there are no logics. Now, children may ask me, sir, why the spelling is not L I E I N G? Should have been like this, no? I have no explanation because L Y right. Yeah, <laughs> you have to learn it like that. In English, no, there are many words. A very logical, very unscientific. Hmm. So lying spelling will be L Y. Be careful, huh? Now here. So saw the continuous um form of lay L A Y. What it will uh, be? Laying L A Y I N G. Laying. Lie. Lay. Okay, sir. Laying L A Y. Thank you, sir. L A Y I N G. Laying, huh? I N G. Right. In yes, that sir. is okay. There is a logic why because before L A Y. L I E no ah uh, yeah if there is a logic if if there is a consonant at the end of the word and immediately there is a vowel you don't change the consonant like lady L A D Y hmm all right sorry no L A D Y ha huh? lady what do you make plural L A D I E S but B O Y what do you make plural B O Y S so you are not changing Y same thing happens here L A Y since there is a it is a protection for y y is not changing but when i write l i e double vowel it is also vowel it is also vowel so the rule does not apply here okay it there should be one vowel and last consonant so this is called spelling rule it comes under spelling rule but there also a lot of disparities are there rules it does not follow okay laying will be l a y i n g hmm and lying l y i n g okay he was laying the bricks on the on the wall lay mane rakha bichhiye rakha na i was laying the carpet on the table or on the floor then l a y but i was lying on the carpet ami carpet er upor shuye chilam lying tokhon l y i n g 
be careful next is exercise 2 look at let me carry on with uh, Ariman I think he said Ariman has have you said up to this much Devahuti said now Shapnil look at this timetable uh, can you make sentences without uh, at this time like Mm, this timetable now speak out sentence like this for oral practice can you make one sentence using at 6 a.m. I was brushing my teeth can you can you say Shapnil at 6 a.m. I was brushing my teeth then next one 6 30 at 6 30 I take I was taking my breakfast wonderful next one at 7 30 i uh, i am going to school the school no as i was why because now it is I, not so it will be i was going to wonderful the school. very good i was and then next one at 8 o'clock p.m I was taking dinner. No, but today you have not yet done. Now it will be future. It will be future. At 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Akhono to atta pajini. Achke ratre atta itumi ki korbe. Continuous tense. What will you do today? At 8 p.m. today. I. Sir, can I see this one? Uh, let, let, let him try. At he, he will at 8 p.m. At, at 8 p.m. I will take dinner. Okay, continuous. Very good. You are right. 75 percent. Continuous. Make it continuous. At, at 8 p.m. I will be taking Wonderful. My, very, very good. Everybody, please put your hands together. Put your hands together. All of you just a minute yes that was wonderful good 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 very good wonderful so will be because it is not yet come but this already over so i was i was i was but 8 pm it is not yet come no it is future you can say next let me call uh, after yes well done shapnil yes now we have oishiki oishiki this spy all yes sir at 6.15 a.m. I was taking a bath. Very good. Next. At, say, at 7 a.m. I, I was getting ready for the school. Good. Very good. Uh, at uh, 1 p.m. I was taking my... I was taking lunch. Good. Um... At uh, at nine thirty no. uh, p.m. Achha, yeah, two. It is two o'clock. I was taking my lunch at nine thirty p.m. Yes, be careful here, like here. At uh, nine thirty p.m., I shall be doing my uh, doing homework. Okay, give her a very big hand. Wonderful, very good. She has used shall British English. I shall be doing my homework. Wonderful, wonderful. Right. Sir, because I learned like that only. Okay. For first person, uh, I... Yeah, yeah. My yes, uh, tuition, sir, yeah. uh, told that to mm. you. For first person, to use shall, shall only. Yes, yes. I and we, we use shall. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, Oishi. Wonderful. Now, shall we go for this? Okay, this was sir. oral at 6... I was brushing my teeth. Well, we have done. Now here, let me call upon Ohona. Ohona, read this one. Yes, sir. Uh, I am waiting for you when you arrive at the airport. Okay. Now, first read the question. This exercise 3. Oh, exercise 3, sir. Right. Yeah. Look at the sentence in... Exercise 2 again. Speak out sentence like this. Tomorrow at 6 a.m. I will be brushing my teeth. Hmm. Same thing you can use. Tomorrow at 6.30. Tomorrow. Ohona, can you make uh, this number second one? Sir, which one? Number. This side. I mean 
this one from here 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 we are using tomorrow future continuous sir can you repeat again hmm. you make something like the same sentence using this three one two three okay tomorrow at six uh, thirty today at six no 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 PM, not today tomorrow use tomorrow future tense okay sir tomorrow at six pm i will be taking my bus Okay. I will. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll be taking my bath. Uh, okay. Carry on. This one also. This one also. So, which one? Number. You can see the screen. This one. This is uh, seven yes, thirty and eight p.m. Yes, sir. Okay. At seven thirty a.m. I. I will at seven thirty a.m. I will going to school. No, no, I will be. Ah, uh, you have to use will be then plus verb plus ing. Yeah, so please repeat your answer. Okay, sir. At seven thirty a.m. I will be going to school. Very good to the school. Next one. Tomorrow. Uh, Tomorrow at, at eight p.m. I will be taking my dinner. Wonderful, very good, oh, Anna. No. Wonderful. Okay, okay, that's lovely. Aryaman, can you read this one? Fill in the blanks. Yes, sir. Repeat. Tomorrow at eight p.m. I will be taking my dinner. Wonderful, very good, oh, Anna. No. Wonderful. Okay, that's lovely. Aryaman, can you read this one? Fill in the blanks. Yes, sir. Read this one. Oh, Aryaman, you have told no before. You have two accounts. Let me call Srijita. Srijita, read this one. Yes, sir. Fill in the blanks I with the correct. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs in the brackets. In the future continuous tense. Number one, I will be waiting for you when you arrive at the airport. Wonderful. Next one. The sun will be rising very soon. Good. Very nice. Wonderful. One more. I have not asked question. Sijita, Sijita is feeling very, very sad. Come on, one more. Number three. I will be reading. I will be reading these books tomorrow. Wonderful. That is a great, great answer. Now let me call upon call ma upon Deva Huti, Deva Huti and Devoshmita. First Deva Huti. Number four. Future continuous. Yes, sir. They will be playing football in the next period. Well done. Number five also. We will be doing these exercises next week. Very good. If you use shall, that is better, right? Because we and I, we are supposed to use shall. I don't know your teacher who is taking your English now in the school. Uh, sir, Alolika ma'am. Okay, Alolika ma'am. So Alolika ma'am told about shall. And will, right? Usually, shall is used for first person, right? According to the dear, the continuous tense. Ma'am has only done up to past uh, past continuous. Tense. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. So when she talk, teaches, just uh, talk to her. Don't tell her <laughs> I have told you. Yeah, yes, of course. Alolika, ma'am itself, she was my student. You know that. No, no, sir. She was my student. No. I taught her when she was in the primaries, right? Like you already. Sir, you taught her. Yes, uh, she was my student only. So I really, she's a very nice teacher. Okay. Teachers, teacher. All ah, right, teachers, teacher. Right. Okay. Sir, how much old are you? Uh, I am. I'm. I'm more like Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, all right. So you look young. Uh huh. You look young, right? Yes. No, actually, I became teacher at the age of very, very early age. I became, if you truly ask me, I became teacher at the age of fourteen. I started teaching What? to boys. Really, sir? Right. Sir, really? Right, and then I joined a school when I was twenty years old. 
so since then i'm teaching and now i am 50 how much 54 so how many years 34 years i've been teaching right so so i just was with uh, alulika ma'am was very small when i was i joined st javier's she was very much so much you much look like 42 or something <laughs> okay that's a compliment for me okay children uh, and let me carry on devahuti has spoken yes 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 okay all right devahuti has spoken now devashmita devashmita last two Yes, last three tomorrow at this time mm. we will be flying to paris wonderful and and uh, do number 5 i think number 5 devahuti devashmita devahuti didn't say number 5 and 7 sir i have already said 5 okay okay, okay no problem then 7 the children will be sleeping when we get home okay wonderful so will be or shall be they are used for future continuous tense right and now let us come to speak out these sentences in the negative form right and then in the interrogative form right negative form let me call once again go back to nandini right so do you know sometimes i wear my oh <laughs> for this things okay now let me call some uh, nandini can you make this sentence now yes, let sir. us let us play something like that nandini will say the negative and uh, shanket will say the interrogative hmm? same sentence number 1 nandini will say the negative and shanket will make it interrogative chalo nandini the hounds will not be chasing the deer hounds huh? hounds okay Yes, the hounds please repeat the hounds will not be chasing the deer excellent very good mm, sanket yes sir Interrogate. will be, uh, will the hounds be chasing the uh, deer wonderful very good now shampurna same thing you will say negative and then priyanka will say the interrogative say this sentence Okay, sir. He will be writing to us frequently. He will not. He will not uh, be writing to us frequently. Wonderful. Very good. Priyanka, interrogative. Yes, yes sir. Will he be writing to us frequently? Wonderful. Very good. Very good. Shabtok, number three. Yes, sir. Negative, and then uh, after Shabtok, Ritishna, interrogative, number three. They will not be packing their luggage. Wonderful, very good. Ritesh, na interrogative. Interrogative. Will they be packing their luggage? Wonderful, very good, very good. Aryaman, yes. number four, number four, negative, and then Oishiki. It will be interrogative, number four. He will not. be preparing for the uh, examination for the examination wonderful very good next oishiki interrogative uh, will she be preparing for the examination you Question are mark. you are genius very good now we come to ohona this number 5 negative and then um strijita it will be interrogative Yes, sir. That will be. They will not be waiting for the guests. Wonderful. Very good. And then we have Srijita to interrogative. Make it interrogative. Will they be waiting for the guests? Wonderful. You all are genius. I would call all of you are genius. Now we have Shopnil. One, two, ten. Uh, number six in negative, and Devashmita. You will make it interrogative. We shall not be building our new house next year. Wonderful, wonderful, superb, right? That was a great answer. Now we have Devoshmit. No, Devoshmita Dash to make it interrogative. Shall we building our new house next year? Shall we be? Huh? Shall we be building again? Repeat. 
Shall we be building our new house next year? Wonderful, Devoshmita. Very, very good. Right? Okay. Now, now we actually have come to the close of the lesson. I suppose. Uh, let me just hear your teacher. So you have already learned continuous. Now let me ask Devahuti. Read this one. Simple present tense or present continuous tense. Come on. Yes, sir. <coughs> Simple present tense are present continuous tense. Look at these two sentences. I go for a walk every day at 6 a.m. I am going for a walk now. Sentence 1 is in the simple present tense. It describes an action that happens every day as a matter of habit. Sentence 2 is in the present continuous tense. It describes an action going on at the present moment. The simple present tense, uh, tense describes action that take place regularly, habitually. The present continuous tense describes action going on at the present moment, at the moment of speaking. Wonderful, children. We Children, just a minute. Ritishna, just a minute. I will close it right now. I know many, all of you have not taken your lunch. I know. So I would like to uh, close this here. I have already completed. Now, if you have any doubt, you may, uh, um, you may. I just want to say goodbye to all of you. But before, before I say goodbye, I would like to say any questions in this chapter, you can ask me. Even if afterwards in the WhatsApp you can uh, ask me. Now uh, let uh, Devahuti to read last one, this one with the simple present tense, this one. Then I will conclude. Come on. Yes, sir. With the simple present tense, we use words like usually, generally, always, never, sometimes, every day, often, etc. With the present continuous tense, we use words like now, today, etc. Wonderful. Very good. Children, I hope the idea of continuous tense is clear. Now, there will be verbs not normally used in continuous tense. There are a few verbs which don't we use. Verb of perceptions, we call them. That's a different idea. We can take some other time again. But I think the continuous tense idea is clear, right? You have to just think of B verbs plus V1 plus ING. And if it is a future tense, future continuous, will, then BEB, -E then V1 plus ING. This will be the formula. Just when you are talking, when you are reading, just try to identify the continuous tenses of different forms, three different forms, present, past and future. Okay, children. So I believe you have enjoyed and I have also enjoyed a lot your company and your presence on the screen virtually but I really enjoyed your presence. If you don't mind if you can switch on your camera. See I've been trying since morning to use both of my camera. I have, I'm using two cameras. One is getting recorded. Another is on my screen etc. Just to be with you to see your smiling faces and uh, you must be wondering how, why Sarah is looking the other side because I want to see your smiling faces before I say goodbye Oishiki, if possible Ohona, Srijita Swapnil, good, very nice and Devahuti I will take the snap and I will send it in the group okay, that's Ohona, wonderful I'll take the snap and I'll send it in the group right, so let me just take the picture of your smiling faces so that I will send it. Nandini and Priyanka and Saptak, please, Sampurna and yeah, everybody. Only Oishiki has not yet opened. Come on. Sir, can you uh, can you see me? No, I cannot. I cannot. I can only see your DP. Priyanka, just for a moment, I will take the picture and then you will all go. Yes, wonderful. Everybody, please. Nandini and Oishiki and yes, now Priyanka, I can see. Oishiki, I can't see. Nandini also, I can't see. Do it faster. You can. Yeah, now I can see everybody except Devahuti. You can see me. Yeah, now I can see. Devahuti, please. Devahuti. 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 Sir, you can see me. Uh, you can see everybody except Devahuti. Let me see Devahuti. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Wonderful. Very good.
now i will take the snap now okay let me just take one snap wonderful just a minute i'm sorry actually my work uh, this is the screen i wanted to have just a minute yes that's lovely okay very good let me see it's not coming uh, it's taking time yes just a moment we are getting it. yeah i've got it wonderful i'll be sending it in the group right now and then you will see how sweet you people are looking all of you are looking i really love you all and i enjoy your company thank you very much children for being with me for such a long time and i also also very 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 uh, what is called uh, happy to see you all right whenever you have any problem also cover the next chapter ah, i will i will i will do so right i will give you some time and okay no problem okay children bye for now and if i see if this recording is okay i'll upload in the youtube things i was doing that that's the reason i thought thank you very much for joining me and it was, it was wonderful to be with you such and, a little and if you can do send the youtube video <laughs> i will do it in the youtube I can go online definitely but uh, the thing is that online uh, I I I I go but of me of Sir you have to play Pandey Kahoot game also with okay, us Okay all right okay yeah you told me yeah Kahoot and I have other quizzes game we can play that one So children thanks for joining once again lovely students and lovely uh, children so much thank you so much for uh, for your presence bye, bye for now sir. have a good day bye sir. 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 bye for now bye sir have a nice day sir bye bye thank you sir bye sir bye 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 bye